Segmentifier is a novel visual analytics interface that supports clickstream domain experts in the iterative process of refining data segments and viewing their characteristics in order to discover actionable insights and improve the effectiveness of more fine-grained downstream analysis. Analyst loads in 1 million sequences, each representing one user session. The segment inspector view on the right gives them insight into the underlying data of the segment. The ranges section shows distributions of some of the major attributes. The actions section shows all information having to do with actions. For example, the analyst notices that only 41% of the sequences contain a page view. Marking this as odd, they go down to the sequence details view to take a look at the actual sequences. To help simplify them, they collapse all identical consecutive actions into one. They then notice that over 50% of the sequences contain only app start actions, an action referring to the loading of a page, and conclude that there must be a tracking error. To filter out this noisy data, they select a sequence, which recreates the pattern in the Operation Builder. The Operation Builder view on the left is where analysts create operations to refine segments for each task. The analyst selects the Not option and clicks Apply to filter out the noisy data. The process is recorded in the Analysis Paths view. This is where the analyst keeps track of all operations and segments they create. Selecting a new segment causes the Segment Inspector view to update with the new underlying data. For example, now 99% of sequences contain a page view, which is closer to what is expected. The analyst uncollapses the sequences to get a more detailed view. They notice that over 50% of them contain only an app start and a page view action represented by the L and VV glyphs. In domain-specific language, this is referred to as a bounce. Wanting to further analyze this behavior, they select it, which recreates the pattern in the Operation Builder, and apply it to the segment. They select the resulting segment in order to investigate what types of pages people bounce from. To get further details on the type of pages viewed, they switch to the detailed level of the action hierarchy. This breaks up the page view action into the 17 page templates we derived. The contains chart allows them to immediately see the number of times each type of page was bounced from. In this case, they notice that the product description page makes up 71% of all bounced pages. Wanting to dive deeper to determine if a particular product page is causing issues, they download the segment to further analyze later. A benefit of the segmentifier is that it allows analysts to go back and revisit segments to ask further questions. In this case, the analyst wants to further explore the previous segment. They can use the Action Transition Network to find out when app display errors occur. By selecting it, they can then use the Adjacency view to determine which actions came before it. In this case, 36% of the time it occurred after signing in. The analyst then decides they want to analyze the purchasing funnel. So they use the Actions Operation Builder to build a pattern with the five main actions required to purchase an item. They click Apply as Funnel, which applies the pattern to the segment step by step. The analyst can then select any of the resulting segments to investigate different steps of the funnel. In this case, however, they select the final segment to analyze sequences that have all five actions. The Operation Inspector shows the details of the operations applied to create the segment, so they are able to easily see the dropout at each level of the funnel. The analyst decides to further analyze purchasing behavior by creating a chart showing the distribution of the number of product pages visited in each sequence. By selecting the chart and opening the Ranges Operation Builder, they are able to see that users that purchase visit between 1 and 44 product pages. To get even further details, they decide to partition the segment based on the number of product pages viewed, so those that viewed less than 2, between 2 and 10, and more than 10. When they apply the operation, it splits the segments into three new segments. By selecting the Operation node, they can see the details of each partition in the Operation Inspector, so 67% of users view between 2 and 10 product pages. The analyst then decides to take a look at the raw sequences and notices that they follow a similar structure a property suitable for pattern mining. So they export the segment so they can later apply a pattern mining technique to hopefully extract more sophisticated common purchasing behaviors.